Well, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use this wrap widget and achieve this result. Okay, well, most of the result would be like displaying or creating small buttons like this. A lot of them could be achieved through List View Builder as well as with other widgets together, but I find wrap is quite convenient and easy. Okay, yeah, so while wrap put things or buttons or your widgets or items either in horizontal or vertical okay that's how it does well first it takes a property which is quite important which is called children okay now within children you can put anything you like okay so for example you want to put text over here say hello okay now I'll go ahead and run it well I will say hello now I can copy hello a few more times and you will see say hello once again there well if I copy them again and again a lot more times okay now you will see a lot of different hellos but they are all horizontally but we can change them to vertical okay so here we can set up one property if you hover over on it you will see direction axis horizontal so this is the default value so here we could do access direction access vertical okay now it laid out vertically anyway so of course we don't want to achieve this result or this thing i want to show you how to achieve this one pretty much like that okay but now with this we are clear how to use wrap okay but of course uh, we can optimize it more so first thing i'll do i'll go ahead and delete this instead of that i'll use the list okay now here list has a helper function which is called generate we can use this one okay now within it say for example i use it length three now over here we can return anything we want now here we'll return text and i would say hello okay now let's go ahead and run it and save it so we say it vertically but we want to say it horizontally so now we'll say it now horizontally so with wrap and list generator together you don't need to repeat whatever you want to generate in a row okay of course you can take it one step further so we want to do it a bit differently so instead of returning arrow function i want to return something different okay yeah so i want to return a custom widget which is app buttons which i built in this tutorial so i'll check the link below you can check out how to create this custom widget okay now over here i will set up text color okay we'll do colors dot say black okay and the background color up colors dot say main color or in that case we'll use white and border color app colors dot main color and over here text for now let's say just one and size here say 40 okay now we need to return this one so what's happening here so wrap inside it takes children now children is a list so you can use this list generate helper method which is shipped out of the box in flatter now it takes one parameter first parameter is how many times you want to loop over it and now it's then function inside or closure now within the function you can do anything you like you can return anything you like okay now we'll run it now we will see these three buttons that appear oh, well once again if you don't know how to create this custom widget button check out the link in the video description anyway so now this is what we have of course we can continue it five times we'll see five buttons now instead of index uh, instead of one we do index dot to to string because index is integer we convert it to string now we'll go ahead and see like this now we can beautify it further so it gives you more option wrap so what we could do um we can wrap this app button around a container okay now over here we can create a margin we do margin const agent sets only so we will create left mar right margin and say 10 pixels okay 
Oh, it looks much better, right? Yeah. So personally, that's why I like wrap widget, okay? And within it together, list and wrap together, you can do something cool and powerful, okay? So hopefully you liked it.